Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything, I'm your host, James Egan. Did you know Tobias appears in Avengers Infinity War? To which you might think, what? No he doesn't wear! He's dressed up as a blue man in the Collector's Collection. It is a pretty weird cameo. And that is the first fact about Arrested Development. Let's dive in. In Arrested Development, Tobias is known as a never-nude, which means that he can never be naked. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I need to be completely undressed. I am completely undressed. The show points out that this is not a categorized mental illness, but it is. This is a real disorder, and it's known as gymnophobia. The narrator is the show's director, Ron Howard. He was never supposed to narrate the series, much like how he was never meant to direct Solo. He was only filling in until he could find a suitable actor. However, the rest of the crew thought his voice just worked. Tobias was only supposed to be in the first episode. The cast thought David Cross was so funny as Tobias, he became a main character. Many fans believe he is the funniest character in the show. Uh, Valentine's Day. When she... Whoa! The first word in most episodes is... Michael. 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 Amy Poehler plays Joe's wife. At the time, the actors were married. Michael Sarah is Canadian. He barely got cast because he had serious problems with his work visa. In the end, he had to get a new visa in Tijuana, Mexico. Okay, season five might accept or dismiss this, but at the moment of filming this, Tobias is meant to be secretly black. There are several references to this. When Lindsay says, people hear the name Tobias, they think big black guy. Tobias says, well, obviously I'm not a big guy. In season four, he sees a black man when he's looking in the mirror. On his book cover, The Man Inside Me, a black man that resembles Tobias can be seen hiding behind a white man. Jeffrey Tambor was only supposed to be in a handful of episodes. He became two main characters, George Sr. and his twin brother, Oscar. In one episode, Henry Winkler looks in a mirror, starts to comb his hair, then suddenly stops. His character, Fonzie, from the show Happy Days, bams he did this. Happy Days star Ron Howard, who is the director of this show. Also, let me know if you want to do a video about Happy Days. In the episode where Buster loses his hand, Henry Winkler jumps over a shark. This is a reference to his Happy Days character, Fonzie, doing the same thing. Jason Bateman, who plays the lead Michael, said the show is like the Royal Tenenbaums shot like cops. The most common complete sentence in the show is... I've made a huge mistake. 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 This is the second time that Jason Bateman and Charlize Theron play a couple. They were married in the film Hancock. Buster's real name is Byron. Throughout the show, Portugal is said to be in South America. David Cross was asked to play Buster, but he insisted that he wanted to play Tobias. Probably because he found Tobias far more dignified. Buster learns that Oscar is his father, not George Sr. He thinks she misses my brother. My father? Yes? I mean, yes. Since he thought Oscar was his uncle, he starts calling him Uncle Father. This is a reference to Hamlet, when the title character says, My uncle father and aunt mother are deceived in Act 2, Scene 2. I was doing Hamlet when I start watching the show, and even I didn't get that reference. Tobias gets license plates for each role that he auditions for. One of the roles is the main character in the hospital show, House MD. David Cross actually auditioned for the role. Can anybody picture David Cross doing that after he Laurie did it? And finally, in season two, Buster loses his hand and replaces it with a hook. Oh! There are several hints that this is going to happen. In this season, there's a scene of a play called The Trial of Captain Hook. Buster says a party is off the hook. His father says, what if I never get a chance to reach out and touch that hand of his again? Buster sits on a bench that says Army Office. Since he's sitting on the right of it, the bench looks like it reads Arm Off. One of the last things that Lucille says to Buster before he loses his hand is... Mother, but you know, kids don't come with a handbook! Also in the scene, you can actually see the seal jumping in the background. When Joe releases the seal that eventually bites off Buster's hand, he says, not gonna be hand-fed anymore. Buster wins a stuffed seal from a claw machine. When Buster sees his hand-shaped chair, he says, Oh, I never thought I'd miss a hand so much. On top of that, in every one of these incidences, the first bar of the Jaws theme song is played. See, when you know all of that, you think, how did I not see that coming? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, get three of your friends to subscribe as well, because... I want them to. If there's any other TV shows that you want me to do a video about, let me know and I'll upload a video as soon as possible. To learn more facts, check out my books on Amazon. They're available on paperback and Kindle. Thanks for watching. See you again.